Hi, I'm Sarah Owen and I lead the team at the Southwest Florida Community Foundation. We're excited to present this year's annual report to the community, building on the foundation for the future. We get to highlight so many amazing things that you've helped us create this year. We've built a space, collaboratory, designed to bring people together. And we've impacted the community through $6 million in grants, really focusing on the causes you care about. Today we have our rabies clinic from 10 to 12. We have it the third Friday of every month. For the foreseeable future, we're offering it free to the public. So to prevent scams, we want to get a lot of people certified by the Department of Justice and then they'll be able to do good advising. What the arts programs are doing for the community, we wanted to bring them in as a way to celebrate and support the culture, provide arts programmings that are affordable. We want everyone to be able to experience the power of art because it changes and it transforms lives. We have a team that will perform a dental screening, a very brief vision and a very brief audio screening with high-tech equipment, primarily the elementary and middle schools. What we're seeing is a huge spike in the number of children who are coming to see us for support because their parent or their sibling has died from a drug overdose. And so we'll have individuals that are wheelchair bound or may have physical handicaps in addition to intellectual handicaps. So we'll be able to design a room where they'll be able to do a lot of the stuff themselves and there'll be less reliance upon staff. So our main goal is getting those resources out to the families. Medical information, schools, therapists, any family from across the community. We really wanted to go into the local high schools and just to share our experiences and to also teach the local high schoolers about the biology behind cancer. We're running a high school STEM camp just for girls. So we're trying to engage girls uh, in science, but in particular we're trying to engage them in research. We've been hosting all summer a We series. We've had guest speakers from throughout the community. We've involved them in lots of our programs so that they get experience with different careers. A big thing for our families is to get them onto our campus as much as possible at the Academy. Today is a special day because here we're celebrating our graduates and of course all the hard work for the school year. Getting the smaller children used to and knowledgeable about how important it is to take care of your teeth. Then the older kids, we actually do the sealants and cleanings and fluoride treatments on second grade and up. The Gen Silent documentary, we at Avow used that for uh, educating the community. We did attend the Pride event. The community saw that a medical provider in the community was on board with supporting the LGBT community. We really consider the needs of seniors a little bit overlooked in our area and it's our goal, our privilege, and our pleasure to develop and provide these services. Abbott is, an, is a wonderful instructional tool for our teachers to use to increase the rigor in the classroom. Building upon the organizational skills is incredibly important because um, there is so much that our students are responsible for today and having good organizational skills that Abbott helps to teach them is only going to promote better learning. The most rewarding part was not the actual experience of them discovering that they can be an electrical or mechanical engineer, but they've discovered something in them and the ability to give back to the community when they go out and they're at the elementary schools. We wanted this fund to be up and operational, so immediately post-storm there would be a safe portal where anyone, individuals, communities, businesses, could safely give to a known entity. We hope you'll take a few minutes and review the annual report. And if you haven't had the chance, come by and visit us here at Collaboratory.